Atlantic City and Miss America's history will be forever tied together. Like, to me, it's like a holiday here that everybody can enjoy. Like the parade, for instance. It's, it, it transcends all ethnic groups, age groups, male and female, and it's one of the rare days when everybody can get together and celebrate something together. Everyone. Our history with the pageant started, um, my grandfather was a uh, businessman in Atlantic City. He uh, started his um, jewelry business and uh, he was also a hand engraver. And um, back then all the business leaders in town were looking to basically extend the summer for another week or two. And they figured that the pageant would um, probably fill that void. So they had a lot of tremendous support through the business community to uh, make it a success. And my grandfather was, you know, one of the prominent business people in AC at the time that, you know, that helped that cause. Shoppies has uh, provided Miss America's crown all the way up till probably three years before they left AC. Uh, the crown design was kind of standardized in the early 50s under um, pageant director Lenore Slaughter who pretty much laid down the basic format for the modern pageant. It's a, uh, like a cast white metal, and then it's um, plated with uh, sterling silver plating, and then all the rhinestones are um, Swarovski crystal rhinestones. We just made one a year for them, and the, uh, the girl who was crowned Miss America got to keep the crown, and Shoppies would uh, provide that to the pageant each year for no charge. You have to understand that with my family, the pageant is, you know, it's a part of my family ever since I, you know, was five years old. The whole year's calendar revolved around the pageant with my parents and my grandparents. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a part of who we are. It's part of who South Jersey is. And, uh, I would love to take, um, you know, get back involved if they, if they need need my help I would be more than willing to help and I just wanted to say that you know the pageants history and mystique has been created by local Atlantic City people and local South Jersey people volunteering to make it a success over many decades and um, it's a nice thing it's a nice thing to be a part of and uh, I'm glad it's back, and I hope, you know, we can uh, really make it a success here where it belongs. I feel like it needs to be, since it has such a great history, I think it needs to be with its history to be successful. I'm not sure if it can be truly successful without its history. We have a lot of problems in Atlantic City, but, you know, when I heard that the pageant was coming back, I just felt like, you know, maybe that is like the bottom of this recession that we were in. And maybe for Atlantic City, the news of the pageant coming back was, was the beginning of the way back. And I feel, I still feel optimistic like that. And I still feel like it, they could, you know, regain their old prominence together.